morning, YouTube. We've got Mr. Eric with us this morning, and we're headed back to the job that I was at Tuesday. It's Thursday morning, 8 a.m. Headed back to the job from Tuesday where I found no bypass on its own system and a very short supply plenum. And we'll see if we can get some footage to share with everyone. Good morning, YouTube. We've got half to 0.6 inches of static with both zones open with one zone closed we've got just about one inch of pressure we're gonna open this other zone back up and then close the second one just to see the difference between the two zones and then again with the second zone closed and the first zone back open we're flirting with another inch of static
after getting the bypass in, we've got a 0.7 static with both zones open and the bypass closed. We're going to go ahead and test it with one zone open, one zone closed. With zone 1 closed, zone 2 open, looks like we're fluctuating between 0.6 and about 0.48 or so and maintaining a static pressure in that range. We're going to go ahead and check the zone 2 closed, zone 1 open. So at this point, with zone 2 closed and zone 1 open, we're maintaining a half inch of static, but the bypass damper is wide open, which will probably be a little excessive to be bypassing heat. So we're going to tweak it a little bit and see what we can get. Alright guys, so I'm running out of memory card space on the camera, but I wanted to give you a overview of what we ended up with. With all zones open, we've got a 0.7 inch static. With zone 1 open, we got 0.4 to 0.5 as the bypass damper opens and closes. With zone 2 open, we were on 0.5 to 0.7 as the bypass damper modulates. We've got our static pressure control module here set to 0.4 inches. And with both zones wide open, the bypass damper motor stays fully closed. Chill coming down on me